Um, and uh, we'll start with D. Scott Fritchin. Yeah, Desi, congrats, man. Um, just describe your emotions after after the final five seconds and just right after the game. Um, it was all joy. You know, we worked hard for this. We played as a team for each and every minute, and it paid off at the end. You know, big step the keys who've been a leader of the team and stepping up and um, keeping us poised and keeping us calm. You know, and, um, at the end of the game when they called it. It was all joy, all happiness, and it's a blessing to be a part of a program that's all brought in. Brought in. After the game on the radio, Coach Tang mentioned that he doesn't know where the ceiling is for this team. Where do you feel like the ceiling is for this team? Recently, the sky's the limit. I feel like we got every piece to be one of the top 25 teams in the country. This, this is only uh, the beginning. We still got a long journey ahead, and we're going to just – Put this to the side, but we're gonna to celebrate tonight. But we're gonna to try to go to the next step. Um, starting next week, you know, we on we on we trying to make make man on man have something special like it always been. And uh, we we trying to keep on going from there. Thanks so much, man. Safe travels. Uh, next question for Tim. Hey, Desi, congratulations. Um, can you walk us through that 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 go ahead bucket from Keontae and, and your pass to him? Go ahead, but are you talking about that at the end of the game? Yeah, very very last bucket. Yep. <clears throat> Me as a player, I always look at the shot clock, you know, and I knew he was down to like four or five seconds on the shot clock after Keontae lost the ball, but he called my name and he said, "Daisy, right here, right here." I said, "I just have to die for the ball and make a winning play," you know. Keontae called him. Um, called my name and I threw it to him. He made a game winner on site. You know, he a big time player. It's a big time player, but big time play. And then an overtime victory last night, down to the wire tonight. What what goes into just being a, a, a gritty team and a gritty player? Um, at the end of the day, coach said last five minutes, fire the grind. You know, we work on it in practice, so we try to win every fire the grind. So obviously, we came out with a win tonight. So we work on that in practice. So practice will lead to games, and that, that ain't nothing new to us. And then er earlier in the second half, when, when you guys started to kind of go on that run, what what, what was kind of changing defensively for you guys? What, what, what started to click there down the stretch? Everybody started locking in. Everybody stayed poised. Everybody stayed together. And we all, we had, even though the coaches did an amazing job telling us to play on defense also, but we all had to come in together as the five on the court. We all had to stay together. And we, when we did that, we all came out with the win. Awesome. Thanks, Desi. Have a safe trip home. Okay, Michael, you're upset. Next. Yeah, Desi, just describe your, uh, your drive, your and one, where you flipped it up off the almost top of the backboard. Um, Coach said when I got number 44 on me, just uh, take a person. And I took a person each and every time. And uh, just get down here. I knew we was down. I had to make a play for my team. My teammates believe in me um, all the way tonight. And they gave me the open look. And I just penetrated down here and got the N1. It was just a lot of motions. It's a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of things I can do. And uh, they believed me. So I made a play and we try to um, get you back in the game. You guys feel like you're capable of making those swing plays late in the game when it's starting to change? I feel like we can do anything. The sky's the limit for this team. And like I said, we win. We play fire to grind. So we came together. We stayed poised and we came out with the dub and we stayed together. I just, yeah. uh, next question to Arnie. Yeah, Desi, with uh, with Keontae in foul trouble, when you came in, did you feel like uh, like you wanted to maybe take over a little bit offensively and, and try to pick up that, that slack, that uh, a conscious effort on your part to get some buckets? I mean, when well, you got one of our best guys that's in foul trouble, somebody else got to step up, you know, and I feel like I'm one of the guys that stepped up tonight and my teammates got me involved early and I started seeing the shot going, I started seeing the basket go in and whatever. And so they believe in me. So I had to step up big time and I just did my thing and I did my ditty. So I just appreciate them guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, next any other questions for Desi before we uh, get Keontae on or uh, uh, 
Marquise. Marquise, congratulations. Thank you, my man. Appreciate you. How can you summarize the tournament for you? Oh, man, it's been nothing short of excellent and amazing. Um, it was a great tournament with, with really good teams. Um, and yeah, man, I'm just, I'm just so happy and grateful that we have, you know, these group of guys together at this very moment in all of them. Uh, afterward on the radio, coach told Wyatt, our ceiling is so high. Where is the ceiling at with this team and kind of how, how have things started for you guys? Man, I don't feel like there's any ceiling on our, on our team. Um, we have so many new, new levels that we can reach. Um, and, you know, we will. And if we continue to keep doing the, the right next thing, um, it will continue to keep getting better. And by the time March comes around, we should be a really, really solid future time. Thank you, man. Safe travels. Thank you, my guy. Uh, next question is from Marquise. Okay, go ahead, Arnie. Yeah, Marquise, just want to ask you, it seemed like you guys were a little bit out of sync in that first half. Uh, what, with all the turnovers, what, what changed in the second half where you guys were obviously better with the ball? Uh, in the second half, we, we were more disciplined um, on, the, on both sides of the floor, uh, offense and defensively. But our defense is what won us this game. Uh, we got key stops and we were able to get some easy transition looks. Um, and in the first half, we didn't get a lot of transition baskets. So I think that was the, the distinguishing factor. And we also came together as a group. Um, and it, it just said, uh, you know, we're gonna lock in more than ever for these last 20 minutes and we did. I think you also held them to two offensive rebounds the second half after they kind of burned you there. What, what was the key there? Just limit them to one shot. We knew that um, they're a, a very good offensive team, offensive rebounding team, um, you know, with KJ Williams. But uh, coach told us that if we limit them to one shot and push the ball in transition, we should be good. And I think we held them to 18 points in the, in the second half. Uh, that's a really good LSU team with the catch fire. So we really just locked in um, and, and trusted each other down the stretch. Uh, next question is Tim. Tim? Marquise, I, I think I saw that you got tournament MVP. Is that is that correct? Yes, sir. What what, what was your reaction on that? I mean, I was happy, but I was more happy with us holding the the trophy up together. You know, with, with Coach Tang holding it up and Bebe. Um, this was a total team effort, man. Uh, one person. Uh, you know, one is thing for us. It was a total team effort from everybody on the coaching staff to every every player on the court. If you were to tell the the Marquise that's practicing with with Ish every day as as one of two players on this team during the summer that you guys were going to be starting the year six and zero and and would be tournament champions, what 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 do you think he'd say? Man, I don't know, man. I mean, it's a, it's a crazy journey that uh, us two been on. Um, but we just kept faith. We believed in the coaching staff. Um, they believed in us. And to see a 6-0 and holding up a trophy, you know, this weekend is just, it's just and then And then what would you say was the kind of the biggest obstacle that, that LSU kind of posed to you guys? What was, the, what was the thing that they did the best? I feel like they crashed the glass the best. Uh, they got second chance points uh, in the first half. They shot 14 more more field goals than us, and they only turned the ball over three times. So I felt like they played them well, disciplined first half. Um, but when we adjusted, you know, second half we really locked in to the to the key three guys. You know, and we limited them to 18 points. So like I said, that's a great team uh, with a really good coach. So we just we just we just will just this one. Congrats, Keith. You guys have a safe trip home. Thank you. Appreciate it. Any other questions for Marquise? 
when we get coach on. Okay, thank you.